fitness the graduation of most of our students whom we sponsored uh, in this college and they have done various courses we are proud of them because uh, at least we now have people who will go back in the community and empower the community when we want to talk about the national issues you will agree with me that uh, even if you look at the east africa community kenya is the only country where we are not working towards uh, getting free education for our children. Like now, where we are now, stakeholders of education, especially the higher level, are at loggerheads. When you see the government trying to increase school fees for our universities from 16,000 to 52,000, when you look at the situation in the country currently, I can assure you only 10% of uh, students will afford the university fee majority of our qualifying students will not gain access to universities because they cannot attain that fee. What we want to tell the Ruto government, it's high time he should fulfill his rhetorics during campaigns. We cannot afford to have a country where our students will not access education because we want to trade with the education sector. We must follow what Uganda and Tanzania are doing and ensure that public education in public facilities are made free. And that one I can stand here and say as a parliamentarian, we'll resist it to the end. Because instead of universities, we wanted the secondary school education also to be made free. But now before we make secondary schools free, we are already increasing fee in technical and university colleges. It's a bad example which we are not going to accept. And I can assure you we are going to resist. Okay. If the formal employment has failed in our country because the way we are uh, employing our graduates and people who are coming from all colleges and schools is almost 0%. That's why government saw it fit to come up with these technical trainings so that those who qualify from technical colleges can be in a position to employ themselves and even help in employing the others. How do you train people and you expect them to employ themselves without tools? Today, I want to call upon the government that let us not qualify people before we give them what it takes. When they go out in the job market, they can add value to the economy. They can also improve their lives by earning from their efforts, which they have also acquired from school. That one, uh, even if parliament is needed, I'll champion it so that we ensure that we graduate people who are going to be immediately relevant to the economy of this country.